One of the most important concepts in the HSC biology syllabus is the process of gene expression, how a cell turns DNA into functional protein in the cell. There are two steps in this process. Firstly, transcription. The DNA is turned into mRNA. Firstly, the DNA is unzipped using the enzyme helicase. RNA polymerase then comes along and reads the DNA sequence and matches free-floating nucleotides according to complementary base pairing rules. An important fact to remember is that instead of matching T's to A's, the RNA polymerase is going to match U's to A's because we have uracil in RNA instead of thymine in DNA. This mRNA strand is then moved out of the nucleus through the nuclear pore and is then moved on to the second step in the endoplasmic reticulum. The second step of the process is translation. We're turning mRNA into a polypeptide sequence, which can then be folded into a protein. So during translation, a ribosome comes and docks to the mRNA. The mRNA sequence is read in groups of three nucleotides. This is called a codon. For example, an A, a U, and a G is a start codon. Each codon has a complementary anticodon, which is found on a tRNA molecule. The tRNA comes and matches to the mRNA, and it holds an amino acid. Each amino acid that comes in is adjacent, and these are then joined by a polypeptide bond by the ribosome. Eventually, as the mRNA is read sequentially, we get a chain of amino acids, and once we reach a stop codon, the chain disassociates, and we have a finished polypeptide. This can then be folded um, by a number of different folding steps to become a protein. This is the process of gene expression. It's pretty simple if you break it down into its two steps. And remember to always include correct terminology, such as the names of the enzymes. Thanks for listening, guys. And I hope that you tune into the next video on how to construct pedigrees and Punnett squares.